I define belonging as the experience of being fully myself during meditation. I don't think that there is any other experience that I can be fully myself 100% like meditation. And if I would meet someone who has no idea what human feelings or experiences are, I can't think of a better strategy, way or method than meditation to go through all human sensations in a short period of time. Before discovering meditation, I was really, in many way, asking myself where I belong to. I really belong to myself. Uh, I love my mother, I love my brothers, but I belong to myself. Uh, and I can be anywhere in the world. I'm a traveler, I travel a lot. And, and it doesn't matter to me uh, where I am. I can be happy wherever I am. I make, fr I, I make friends and I connect with people everywhere. And, um, and it's really the meditation that makes me feel uh, belonging, belong to myself. I think that's the, the identity really, that the self-identity and meditation really solidify in every person um, if this person wants to. When I meditate, I'm fully being uh, myself. I don't filter my sensations, memories, experiences. I let it be as it is and I accept it as it is. So if this sensation would be, for example, um, sadness, if I feel sadness and this sensation would come in my body, I would allow it to be. So it would stay for, let's say, a minute, it would stay for two minutes, and it will pass. That's how meditation works. It passes, and when it passes away, when, it, when it's no longer there, then there is this feeling of being fully myself. So I'm today not attached to anything. I can, I'm not attached to anything or anybody, but not in a bad sense, actually in a peaceful way. There is a difference between the detachment and between indifference. If I am detached, it doesn't mean that I am, I am indifferent about others' experiences. I'm a psychotherapist, so I can't be indifferent. <laughs> but to be detached, meaning to, not to, to, to live things as, as they come, as they are, without getting attached to it. So if I love my son, I love my son for him, not for me. So I can love him and not be attached to him at the same time if I meditate. The thought is that uh, there's something missing. And that something that is missing is that uh, I'm not being attentive toward myself. Because meditation is really self-care. And um, in, you know, in simple word, feeling drained. Say, feeling drained. But what is feeling drained really is like to take in more than what we can be taken. This experience actually did happen to me when I did not maintain the balance. And meditation is really to maintain the balance. Now, nobody is expecting perfection when we meditate. It's part of life also not to feel happy. It's not part of life to suffer. There's a difference. And that's what meditation is all about. It's not about not feeling pain. It's normal to feel pain. I do feel pain, <laughs> like everybody else does. But suffering is something different. And that's what I, uh, that's what meditation helps me uh, to avoid. Um, and now I much, way, way less, I, I almost don't feel drained because I, I, I pay attention right away and I maintain my boundaries and I know when I can't and I say I'm sorry and I you know I, I give other options for if it's about if it involves other person. Sometimes it involves a task, not a person. So it's the same thing. I would I know that there is tomorrow, there is next month. <laughs> um, so in in other words, um, meditation helped me also to organize things differently. 
constructive way and to make me more happy.